I am Mr. Space for Win, and welcome back to part 24 of the Digimon World playthrough. We've made so much progress now, we can actually go and activate a special event in Foul City. But before that, I'm going to show you some of the last hiding places of Nanimon. This will be this will make it four out of five after this. So his third hiding place is in Leomon's ancestors' cave. Once you've recruited Leomon to the city, look, dude, I told you I'm not having any goddamn gnome in my server. Now get the GTFO. Damn fucking gnome. And the fourth place is Orgamon Fortress. He appears here once you've kicked Orgamon out of the secret beach cave. And apparently he's tried to live here, but we're not having that. Dude, I told you, you're not being in my game. Fucking what, Mr. T wannabe. These gnomes just trying to be people that are not. Oh well. We'll see him one more time in the game, thankfully. But before that, let's go and activate that special event. Might interest you to know that we've got up to 50 points now. I know it's we've come a long way, but it's finally here. And with this, we can activate a special event. Holy shit! Digimon's pimped out his house, and considering uh, it's a, it was originally a soup can strapped to a box, that's quite an improvement. The house actually upgrades when you either recruit Monzimon, Angimon, or you get 50 prosperity points and you have still have Nava. Sweet ride. If I had to live in a cardboard house, I'd certainly live here. Look at that, it's got Minch as well. So, Digimon, what's going down in my groove town? It's got some big news, apparently. Oh, sweet. Mount Infinity. That's got to be important. I remember that from the series. But where could it be? You shitting me. Like in old crimes scenes, it's always in the place you least suspect it. It's right at the back of the city, behind the falls. You might have seen it beforehand. And of course, this will be the last dungeon in the game. But seeing how this playthrough is nearly not far from over, we've got a lot to do before we can start going to Mount Infinity. So let's get on with it. But talking to Digimon about Mount Infinity triggers another event. What the hell are they looking at? Oh my god, he's gonna crash! Watch where you're fucking flying, you got a license? Oh, another guy who wants to engage us in epic combat. It's a trap! See what I mean? You just don't learn. If I, if I beat Greymon, I think I can beat you. Also, I'll take this fight like Greymon. Make sure you're prepared to beat him before you activate the event. Okay, so let's get this on. He's a pretty tough Digimon. He's got some pretty tough moves to fight against. That was that hurricane sound at least. Oh, taste the rainbow. Crass. That was confusion storm, actually. That wide range, and it can confuse you if you're lucky enough. Unlucky, of course. Oh, guy, he knows Megalos Spot. You can't use my own move against me, you douche. Oh, I wonder if uh, Edgemon's uh, sponsored by Skittles. <laughs> Your Skittly goodness is no match for my teddy bear of doom. Pwned. Shame I didn't learn that move, though. It's always nice to learn a new move, of course. Ugh. Oh. Even with my broken limbs and internal organs bleeding, I will defeat you. Yeah, not likely, mate. Yeah, let's go and help this random douchebag that just tried to kill us. What are we doing here? Oh, God, Gigimon. Oh, he's in his bed. I know what he's going to do with him when we leave. P Stop being a fucking pedo, Gigimon. <laughs> you might also notice the Monzimon that joined the city is on the hook at the back there. You can't use a suit like before, it just hangs there, it doesn't really do anything. Well, let's, before we Mount Infinity, we've got to wrap up this game. And the fact that Mount Infinity has opened up, it activates two new events, which we're going to do in this part. Both Ultimates. You'll, you'll of course remember the manhole covers. Well, apparently they're all created by a UFO. I should have known UFO and their damn plumbing skills. So, of course, this will be the third uh, trip back there. We're going to have to check it out. Go, go, editing powers. Gotta love it. So let's see, it didn't look that bad. Oh my god, look at all these manhole covers. What's wrong with the plumbing? Are the sewers really that bad? I guess aliens like the 
their hygienic systems to be nice and clean. Oh, what the hell's going on? It's Mars attack. Shit. I kind of find it strange that they put him in a uh, UFO. In the series, of course, he just has like tentacle legs. And it's a, bit, it's a bit rude not to say anything. Oh shit, he's got a gun. Yep, you can do anything you want, mate. Just, just don't kill me. If that kid was really smart, use evasive maneuvers and break uh, and is it on his neck. Nope, just gonna talk to him. Well, apparently he's not helping. Oh, I couldn't understand him. I didn't know Vedamon knew dumbass. Awesome. That's the third and final encounter in Mount Panorama. Now that's done, we've got another area to go to. And I'm sure you'll all remember this area once we get there. Editing powers, thank you. It's a forest, you might remember that door that we found in one of the earlier parts. Well, we can now go back to it since the door's opened up. What the hell? What? Ah, fuck! Oh my god, it's Etamon. You damn Elvis impersonator. I will not stand for this insult. Prepare to die. But oh shit, this is something of a big fat. Etamon is no fucking laughing matter, folks. 5,500 is not just the worst thing. As you can see from this fight, look how much I'm taking off. You know he's got hard defense. So it's pretty much just a standard fight, except the fight, of course, it's on a higher level. Of course, you should have an equally powerful Digimon by now. Actually, it's quite strange, considering that um, he does ha he does seem to have a lot of ha high um, defense, he doesn't seem to be taking that much off me, which I should be thankful for. Ah, oh, bastard. Now, of course, it doesn't help the more he uses that Warcraft. Let's see, what moves did he use? He's got Dynamite Kick, which of course he's spamming at me. Douche. He's using War Crime, and of course, before he was using Buster Dive. Another fucking bad move. Okay, now let's see the most deadliest move in the game. Feel the love, bitch. POUND! That wasn't love, that was all my rage condensed into one heart shaped missile. The best thing about Ultimates, even though, oh, that was looking lucky. That could have been bad if he had been able to launch that off. Yeah, the best thing about Ultimates, even though I'm crappy keyboard, won't let me power it up that much. It still takes a bit off. No monkey can defeat a teddy bear of doom. Now go back to singing Elvis. Ha! <laughs> seven, 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 seven. Oddly enough, he gives us a brain chip. I don't understand that. So loser much? You know who the fuck I am. I'm the Yeti Space with the win, bitch. Oh, is he gonna prove yourself, huh? I'd like to see that. Ah, oh, it's always nice to have a new uh, Digimon join the city, even if he is a douchebag. Okay, join me in part 25 when we get on to uh, Dragon Out Lake. Till next time.